Shalom, Shalom, Israel. Shalom, Shalom, Israel. This is your little big sister, uh, Leah Yehuda Israel from the tribe of Judah. I'm giving all praises, all honor, all thanks, and all glory to the Most High Yah by saying hallelujah. All praises are to the Creator, the Creator of the heavens, the earth, the seas, and all in them is the Most High Yah created. Um, there is no Savior other than Yahweh. Yahweh is the creator of all things that live. And uh, Yahweh uh, takes away all things um, and takes the breath out of all things. And he gives breath, which is life. Um, I just want to say that um, the pagan holidays are here. And it's a very sad and sorrowful time for me in my life. Um, I was weeping this morning. And I've been weeping at all the abominations that the Most High is showing me. And he's taking me to Ezekiel 7, 8, and 9. And if you will please read Ezekiel 7, 8, and 9 so you can hear about these abominations that Israel is doing. Um, people say that they love God and they love Jesus and they keep the law. And they don't do none of those things. Y'all need to stop fucking lying because you're liars. You might love JC, and that's your God, but it's not the, the Elohim of Abraham, Ishkak, and Jacob. It's not the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Um, it's a lot of abominations going on the Most High has been showing me. And I just want to read some of this out of Ezekiel 8. Um, Ezekiel 7, 8, and 9. If you all will please read Ezekiel 7, 8, and 9. Please, it's imperative because it's talking about Israel and it's talking about all of the abominations um, that's going on now. And I just want to read um, some of these abominations that, that was going on here that Ezekiel saw that the Most High showed him. Um, and I'm going to start at uh, verse uh, 6. Ezekiel 8, verse 6. He said, Furthermore unto me, Son of man, seest thou what they do, even the great abominations that the house of Israel committeth here, that I should go far off from my sanctuary, but turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations. Can't y'all see it? We out here committing these great abominations and sins, and nobody don't give a fuck? You don't give a damn? You're talking about Thanksgiving and you're fucking talking about Christmas and the Creator said nothing about those abominable things? Mm-hmm. Y'all in trouble. You in goddamn trouble, straight up. And he brought me to the door of the court, and when I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. Then said he unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I had digged in the wall, behold, a door. And he said unto me, Go in, and behold, the wicked abominations that they do here. The Most High is clearly telling Ezekiel to go into there and see the abominations that Judah and the house of Israel are committing right now to this day. So I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things and abominable beasts and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about it. You got to be crazy if you can't see this. We eat sea roaches. We eat crabs, we eat shrimp, I did. Shrimp, crab, lobster, all kind of slithery, slimy beast. We got trees in our house, we decorating. We eat swine and we eat fucking pork. And y'all can't understand what Ezekiel is saying and Ezekiel ate what the Most High showed him. And the Most High is furious, okay? So don't mind my language because I say shit and bullshit because you got some words coming in these words that's coming out of my mouth if you're not keeping the Most High's laws, statutes, and commandments. So I went in and saw, and behold, every form of creeping things and abominable beasts and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. And there stood before them seventy men of the ancients of the house of Israel. And in the midst of them stood Jehazian, the son of Sephion, and every man his censer in his hand. And a thick cloud of incense went up. See what the ancients doing? They doing it over here right now to this day. Then said he unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark? Every man in the chambers of his imagery, 
For they say, Yah seeth us not. Yah hath forsaken the earth. He said also unto me, Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations that they do. This is like the third of the, this is like the third, fourth wall that he not dug in, and the most high keeps showing him all these abominations that we over here doing right now. He said, Look to the north. I need you to read Ezekiel 7, 8, and 9. He said, Look to the north, and the north is over here. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of Yah's house, which was turned towards the north. And behold, there said women weeping for Tammuz. That's JC and all of that cross bullshit, man. Then said he unto me, Has thou seen this, O son of man? Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations. This is the fourth one. I kind of numbered them. And he brought me into the inner court of the house of Yah. And behold, at the door of the temple of Yah, between the porch and the altar were about five and twenty men with their backs toward the temple of Yah and their faces toward the east. And they worshiped the sun toward the east. Every day y'all getting up going to that goddamn church. Okay, every day you Sunday you going to church, you're worshiping the sun God. You're not worshiping the Most High. You're worshiping the Sun God. Now, this is what they're doing in the East and what they're doing right here in church every Sunday. S-U-N, Sun Day. Okay? We were taught wrong. But who's going to stand up for the Most High? Who's going to stand up for y'all? Okay? You don't get into the kingdom by doing what the fuck you want to do. That's not how you get into the kingdom of Yah. You got to obey the laws, statutes, and the commandments of the Most High. Thanksgiving ain't going to get you in no kingdom. And Christmas buying fucking toys ain't going to get you there either, okay? Then said he unto me. Then he said unto me. Has thou seen this, O son of man? Is it a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here? For they have filled the land with violence and have returned to provoke me to anger. And lo, they put the branch to their nose. Therefore, I will deal in fury. Mine eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity. And though they cry in mine eyes, though they cry in my ears with a loud voice, yet will I not hear them. And that just serves you right for the most time not to hear you when you cry. Because he's sending the servants out here right now to tell you that Thanksgiving ain't no fucking holy day. And neither is goddamn Christmas a holy day, okay? And the most high said, don't have no pity on y'all. That's what he told that man that went to slay and slaughter the inhabitants of the land for all they wicked abominations the most high said at least five times i counted he said don't have no pity on him and i ain't having no pity on y'all right now because we alive we well and we doing what the fuck we want to do so you might want to return to this law and put up your christmas trees and don't bring that bullshit in your homes and tea and don't get your children under that shit because it's all wicked okay it's all wicked the Creator has nothing to do with Thanksgiving and no goddamn Christmas. Okay, and a new year can't begin in the middle of the winter. But y'all a bunch of followers. You want to follow everybody. You want to do what the fuck everybody else do. I don't follow people. I ain't following no goddamn man, no woman, and no children, no child. I ain't following nobody. I'm going to obey the Creator. Okay? I'm going to obey the Most High. Because you weak when you got to follow behind other motherfuckers. You weak. Because that's not what the Most High told us to do. He told us to keep his laws, his statutes, and his commandments. And none of that has anything to do with Thanksgiving or Christmas. No, you can't buy my child nothing. Please don't buy nothing. Because we will not accept it. We don't accept Christmas gifts. And we don't eat Christmas dinners or Thanksgiving dinner. That's an abomination before y'all. I don't want it. Somebody stole my post, my, somebody stole my Ten Commandments off of my door. What kind of world we live in? You come on somebody's doorstep and you steal their Ten Commandments. But the most High had me put my Bible right there and he had me turn it to Exodus 20 right here. Then I got up out my bed and I went and did this and put it right here. 
Somebody stole my commandments, and the Most High said, "Thou shall not steal." But motherfuckers so wicked around here till they got the, it. Don't even make no damn sense. And yeah, I'm holding this Bible because all of this shit gonna be destroyed real soon, and the Most High coming to get His people. Cause I'm calling on Him and I'm asking Him to come get me. I'm sick of this place. Y'all wanna sit here and eat turkey and gobble up bullshit and do presents and illusions and delusions? Do it. Don't count me in your fucking wickedness. I don't want shit to do with it. You're wicked. And you might want to read Ezekiel 7, 8, and 9, and it's about Israel and the abominations that we're doing right now. This is an abomination. Okay? I woke up with this because the Most High had me studying, and he's taking me to Ezekiel 7, 8, 9, 10 on through. I've been listening to the audio with Alexander Scorby. You might want to listen to it and meditate on it and listen and read to yourself and listen and listen and get all you can get. It's called meditation, okay? Yahweh is not playing with Israel. If you're losing your son and daughters, it's because he's killing them. He's killing them, yeah. Yah is killing them. He says, I do all things. Isaiah 43, 16. He said, I am he and besides me, there is no savior. Nobody ain't doing, ain't no devil doing shit. The most high doing it. He's killing and he's making alive. But if you want to stay in that illusion and keep on believing on JC or whatever the fuck you believe on, believe on it. But as for me and my house, we're going to serve the most high. And we don't give a goddamn about no Christmas or no Thanksgiving. I'm here to tell you right now, I don't give a fuck about it. I just want to see my children and pray that my children's souls, all four of my children and my grandchildren and even my soul, is saved. And I don't give a damn about nothing else. Mama don't want to listen. Daddy don't give a damn. My sister's brother, cousins, all fucking well. That's all. That's y'all because I'm tired and I want rest for my soul. So you can talk about me all the fuck you want to. I don't give a fuck what you got to say about me. It's all about what he say. See? It's all about what Yah say. Yah is the living Elohim. I'm just a servant. I'm just a messenger. And I stand 100% on Yah. If you don't want to keep this law, don't keep it. That's you. But don't try to pull me in your bullshit because then you're going to get your feelings hurt. I'm telling you right fucking now. Don't come here with no Thanksgiving shit. I don't want it. And then if you skip over here to Ezekiel 9. This is where the slaughter finna happen. Y'all in trouble, man. He cried also in mine ears with a loud voice saying, Cause them that have charge over the city to draw near, even every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. And behold, six men came from the way of the higher gate, which lieth toward the north, every man a slaughter weapon in his hand, and one man among them was clothed with linen, with a writer's ink horn by his side. And they went in and stood beside the brazen altar. And the glory of the Elohim of Israel was gone up from the cherub, whereupon he was to the threshold of the house. And he called to the man clothed with linen, which had the writer's ink horn by his side. Y'all better listen right here now, because this is very important. And Yah said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said in mine hearing, Go ye after him through the city, and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly the old and the young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient, then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. And he said unto them, Defile the house, and fill the courts with the slain. Go ye forth. And they went forth, and they slew the city. And it came to pass, while they were slaying them, and I was left. Then I fell up on my face and cried and said, Ah, oh, Yah, Elohim, Yah, would thou destroy all the residue of Israel in the pouring out of the fury upon Jerusalem? Then said he unto me, The iniquity of the house of Israel and Judah is exceeding great, and the land is full of blood, and the city full of perverseness. For they say, Yah 
hath forsaken the earth, and Yah seeth not. And as for me also, mine eyes shall not spare, neither will I have pity. But I will recompense their way upon their head. And behold, the man clothed with linen, which had the inkhorn by his side, reported the matter, saying, I have done as thou hast commanded me. The abominations and the wickedness on this land with this blood and y'all killing each other and all of this and that done. It's going up and it's a stank to y'all. He said, don't have no pity. Y'all in trouble. Y'all in trouble. Y'all keep right on disobeying the Most High. I don't give a fuck who you is. And I don't give a damn what you got, okay? The Most High is angry. And it's all about your soul. But if you don't give a damn about your soul, why should I? But I'm just going to keep on bringing this truth to you. Whether you like me or not, I don't give a damn. Because I'm a servant of the Creator and I'm on rest for my soul. So all praises, all honor, all glory are to the mighty Yah. I pray that y'all have a yali day and you just consider some things. Rethink yourselves here in the land of your captivities, captors, your captives. Rethink yourselves and see that it's wrong to serve idol gods and it's wrong to do pagan holidays. It's just fucking wrong. And ain't nothing good about it because ain't nothing good. You're just doing your own shit. Gather with your family other days while y'all wait for Thanksgiving to gather together and shit. It's just a bunch of shit that your slave master taught the slaves. But we see who the slaves is. And we see who's going to stand for the mighty Yah. And I'm telling you right now, fuck Thanksgiving and fuck Christmas too. Shalom.